there's a lot of excitement in the world of cancer uh, research uh, where about the compounds that naturally occur in marijuana as a treatment uh, for various tumors. Uh, there's a research group out of um, Spain read by, led by Dr. Guzman, and his group actually did one of the first human studies that documented in a group of really severe uh, late-stage brain tumor patients that if you injected their brain tumors uh, directly with a solution that contains THC, one of the compounds in cannabis, that you can actually observe through uh, scans a reduction in the size of those brain tumors. That was in a group of less than 15 patients, but uh, it was a pilot study and it was very exciting um, result that in a majority of those patients, the tumors shrunk. But uh, they kind of expected that as their hypothesis because they had seen so many data from their petri dishes and their animal studies that the, these tumors can shrink, especially these tumors of the brain called glioblastomas, a very uh, debilitating tumor in the brain that has a very low survival rate. So the more we study, we find out that uh, breast cancers, pro prostate cancers, lung cancers, whole range of tumors in the body have been shown in animal studies and petri dish studies to, to be uh, reduced and attacked by uh, ke chemicals in marijuana. Usually the chemicals in marijuana do this by making those cancer cells kill themselves, uh, reducing the blood supply to those cancers, and reducing the amount of sp how those cancers spread uh, in other parts of the body. So there are cancer groups calling for the inclusion of the chemicals in marijuana in chemotherapy regimens as a treatment for cancer. That's very interesting and exciting uh, future there. And I think um, there are a lot of natural compounds that have anti-cancer properties, and I think cannabis is going to go right in there as, well, as one of those ones that can potentially be useful for a lot of different cancers. Uh, more research needs to be done, but the research that has been done is extremely promising, and uh, even the National Cancer Institute, which is a, a NIH branch, has information on their website uh, for doctors uh, documenting all, uh, all of these anti-cancer properties that I've described. Thank you.